the first thing I've done for this Christina Aguilera look um, is apply... Oh, my voice is going again. Good as me. It must know when I'm recording it starts acting out. The first thing I've done is apply L'Oreal Hip Cream Shadow Paint and Secretive, which is rather sparkly, but not too sparkly. And I love these shadow paints anyway. So I've applied that all over my lid and quite high up. And then I've put some underneath my lower lash line because we're going to be putting quite a lot of shadow there. Now what we're going to be taking is the J Glamour shader brush, just a little one like this, and I'm going to be taking this Bell Cosmetics Mineral Eyeshadow in Champagne, and it looks like this, if it will focus, there we go. It is beautiful, it's like, um, it's kind of like an eggshell white with a lot of, hmm, got a gold sparkle in it, it's really beautiful. Now, sadly you can't get Spell Cosmetics anymore, but, um, I will be using another colour from the Naked palette, so you could use um, Virgin from the Naked palette. They would do the same thing, but I just wanted to use this one. So I'm going to take a large amount of that on my J Glamour shader brush, tap it off, and then I'm just going to be putting this right the way round and over and covering my entire um, eyelid with this colour, and I'm going to bring it up to about here. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking um, a small pencil brush, this one's from J Glamour, you can use any one you want, and I'm going to be taking um, Gum Metal from the Naked Palette, and it is this beautiful shimmering, this one on the end, this beautiful shimmering um, gun metal colour, it does have some glitter in it, I really like it, and I just didn't want to use a black, because if you look at the pictures of Christina from the premiere, the makeup is very, very subtle, but it's quite... Um, still quite dark so that's what I wanted to kind of achieve with this so I'm just going to take a little bit on my pencil brush oh I lie I'm going to take quite a lot actually tap that off and then I'm going to start sketching the outline that I want which is pretty much rounded over the eye socket area and then out into a very fine point you just want to sketch your point out just very lightly and then move the brush, there's nothing really left on it anymore, but just move the brush into the rest of that gun metal shadow just to kind of get the layering that you want over the white. Now you can bring this colour as far in as you want. Christina has hers brought in quite far, so I've done the same thing, but if you don't want to do that, um, if you feel it's going to close your eyes off, then bring it in just to about here. Okay, now for the blending, because we need to blend it a lot to get it like this. I'm going to be taking just, um, I don't, this doesn't even have a name on it anymore, but I know it's by L'Oreal, it's just a big fluffy brush, but it's quite stiff. And we're just going to be blending a huge amount out of this shadow. So you just want to take it and just blend straight over the top of the shadow. And it kind of seems stupid, because it's like, well, why did you put that much shadow on to start with? But you need to put that much shadow on so that you can blend it out to get the kind of soft wash that you like. Because if you just put a soft wash on to start with, it's not going to have the same shape and it's not going to have the same impact because this look is really really smoky it's really really subtle but it's so um, impactful it's just beautiful and then here you really want to start pulling this out so then it matches up with the other eye and you just need to do that just lightly you'll get there it's not difficult you just need to do that just by pulling out that colour and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm actually going to start kind of pulling out the colour that I put in the middle of my, not the middle, but the outer portion of my eyelid so that it really does blend very well over into the white. Okay, so that's pretty much the effect that I want. I want it to be pulled out and elongated because I love that shape, so that's why I had to do this look pretty much, but I also want it to be very, very subtle in this area here. Now we've done that, we're going to take the same brush and dust it off so you don't get it um, mixed up with the grey that you've just been blending out. And I'm going to be taking make the Naked palette again, I'm going to be taking Virgin as my highlight. And I just want to take a small amount of this and kind of pat it. Because you really don't want too much and you don't want it to kind of blend in with this because we've already blended it out. So just pat it. And I brought mine on the other eye quite far down, just to kind of give the eye a little bit of light. Okay now for liner on the top lash line. Now if you can see here the liner that I've done is um, 
not really black and the reason for that is because I've smoked it out so I'm going to use the Vapor Mesmerize eye pencil in black and it's got the pencil on one end and the smudger on the other just like that and this is very creamy this and I'm just going to start off very lightly just really pushing this into my lashes you're not going to flick it out I'm just going to push this into my lash line now I'm going to take the smudger end which has a quite a defined point on it and I'm just going to smudge that line. And this is going to really tie in with the rest of the look because the rest of it looks quite smudgy and quite smoky and kind of ethereal so I don't want the liner to be too stark. Okay so that's the liner portion done, very simple. Now for underneath the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the same brush that I used to put the white on my lid and I'm going to be taking the white, which is the Champagne by Spell. And uh, the reason I'm going to use a big brush like this is because um, she has a lot of colour underneath her lower lash line and it's quite um, soft focus. So I didn't want to use a really thin pencil, like an angled liner brush, because it will come off as a little bit too harsh. We want to keep this um, kind of smoky. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white. And I'm just going to put that first in my inner corner, then I'm going to put it right the way around. And then I'm going to be taking the little pencil brush and the gum metal colour again. Take a little bit of that. And I'm just going to line quite near my lash line with this colour. And I'm going to bring this all the way around as well, just leaving the um, inner corner free of it. Now I'm going to take the same liner that I used on my upper lash line, the Vapor one. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that very, very close to my lower lashes. Because you don't really want to be able to see it as liner. But you kind of want it just to outline the, the uh, eye. Then I'm going to take the smudger end and I'm just going to smudge that baby right out. a tiny little bit of the champagne colour, the white, and I mean it's just a tiny bit, and I'm just going to kind of undercut that liner and the grey, I'm just going to place it just underneath, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a soft focus gleam, so that it's not so harsh, you see, just like that, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the virgin colour, and I'm going to put that in my in the corner because that's a tiny little bit more shimmery than the one we've got in our lid. So you see, it really brings that little corner to life. Um, I'm now going to put the Benefit Eye Bright in my waterline. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my Senna Lash TLC mascara. Okay, so for cheeks, I'm going to be taking the Young Blood. Um, this is just from the Artiste palette, but you can buy these just without. The, the palette, you can buy them separately is what I mean. And this, I believe, this blush is called Plumberry. It's a little bit darker than this one, but it is it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna put that on just with a J Glamour blusher brush. And I'm just gonna smile and just do circular motions. This is the Memorissima um, Glow Shimmer Powder. And it is, um, it's just a very, very dusty kind of um, heather Shimmer powder, pretty much, and I'm taking that on a roller theme little angle brush like this, and I'm just gonna smile and just put this just along here. You see, isn't it pretty? But it's not white, so it's not gonna make you look kind of ashen, and it's not gold, um, so it's gonna go with the oops, can't pick them wrong, with the color that we've got on our eyes. So I just wanna undo that and then kind of bring it down. So for lips, I'm going to be using a combination because she's team this eye um, and it's kind of unusual for her because she always does like just the classic red lip but she's actually, or her makeup artist rather, has teamed this eye with like a really on trend berry lip so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to be using Gosh's Velvet Touch Lipstick in Wild Rose, it looks like that. Over the top of it, I'm going to be putting this, and this is absolutely stunning because she's got the lipstick and then she's got this really beautiful kind of berry gloss. So I'm going to be putting the Senna Lip Lacquer in Lush over the top of it. 
You don't have to do this. You could you could put tint with like a nude lip if you like, but you know me. I love my colour. So and just gonna put that on. Like that. And that guys is the finished look. That is my take on the makeup that Christina Aguilera wore uh, very recently to the Los Angeles premiere of her film Burlesque. Um, it was so pretty, I just adored it, I had to do it, and I thought maybe it was something easy that people could do for like parties and Christmas parties and Thanksgiving and stuff. I'll list all the products that I used down below in the down bar so that if you want to um, recreate this look and you're interested in the products then you'll be able to find them, they'll all be down there. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. I'll also put the pictures that I used of Christina for inspiration down below so you can kind of see what I was going for. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.